Welcome to the project demonstration of Arduino based battery field assistance robots with surveillance and metal detection with SMS alerts. So here the uh, main application of this project is we can control this vehicle movement, robot movement through the uh, mobile phone using IoT technology along with video surveillance which is getting from this robotic vehicle using this ESP32 camera and also while we are controlling the robot movement if is there any metal detected means any landman detected under the ground then the system will send the sms alerts to the registered phone number as a alert metal detected so this sms sending will be done with the help of uh, this gsm module we are using c metal gsm module and metal sensor we are using this inductive uh, metal sensor which was interfaced to the arduino uno board and from there when the metal sensor trigger this arduino uno board it will send the sms alerts to the registered phone number with the help of the sim card which you have inserted into the gsm module the sim card should be arranged by your side and we need to use vi Airtel or BSNL other than Geo. So use micro SIM card. The notch should be like this side. Okay. And the next insert that into this one. Push to lock, push to unlock. So next. So push to lock and push to unlock. Right. So these three are the main components for sending SMS alerts on detection of the metals. And this is the main component which will provide the visuals to the mobile phone through the Wi-Fi along with robotic controlling directly through this L293D motor driver by getting the input from our mobile phone uh, HTML browser directly so when we are want to control the robot vehicle just to touch on the forward back or left right so those commands will be received by this ESP32 camera and there will be input to the L298 motor driver from there we have interfaced the two DC motors which were attached for the vehicle movement so the ratings of this dc motors is 12 volt 30 rpm dc motor and a whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1.5 ampere battery pack which is rechargeable battery pack so here we can see the three batteries are connected those are in series so we will get 12 volt 1.5 ampere as per battery voltage rating sir 4 volts 1.5 ampere rating so to recharge the battery so may, very uh, first step is we need to keep the battery under full charge so to recharge the battery connect the transformer at this slot so as shown this is the slot connect the transformer and on the power supply to this transformer there we can see the light indication and it will get fully charged in a duration of 4 to 5 hours maximum till the duration keep the battery under charging in meanwhile if it is eating from this transformer or diodes no need to worry about that so once the battery is getting fully charged then automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow from the transformer to the battery to protect it from overcharging so after that disconnect this and here this is the main on off switch so on and off so the next step is first step is keep the battery under full charge next step is insert a valid sim card which should have the sms balance or main balance okay and insert that so properly insert that now on the hotspot in your phone so configure the hotspot name to project 7053 and password should be 12345678 ab band should be 2.4 gigahertz after these three settings successfully done on the hotspots and the next we need to install a network analyzer application that is the application is to get the ip address of our ESP, esp32 camera this is the application we need to install that okay Right, so after all this setup is done, now on the power supply to this kit using this switch. Below is the on. So let us wait till you can see the one device, two devices connected as another device on my laptop. And this system was connected to this one. Now go to land scan options, land scan, do the scan over here. So there you get the IP address of our ESP32 camera in your mobile phone. Right. So this 75.225 is the IP address of our ESP32 camera. Just open that. So we are getting the visuals directly. Okay. We can control the robot movement forward, backward, left, right and headlight on off directly. So you can see that's light on, light off. Okay. So when you touch and hold the forward button, then only it will move. When you release the button, it stops. Right backward left side slowly to rotates right side okay and now so one more thing is there 
so before providing input from the metal sensor to this metal sensor we should check the signal status to the gsm model there we can see one red light is blinking slowly if the signal was not getting to the sim card then the particular uh, red light will blinks very fast means at a one second duration now it is blinking at three seconds duration that is the indication of the gsm modem got the signal now it can send the message alerts whenever the metal detected so right so detects then the system will sending the message alerts to the registered phone number directly so we can get the message alerts so let us see the demonstration on the floor right so now gripping purpose we have removed the uh, ties front ties Right, middle detected. Then the system keep on sending message alerts to the registered phone numbers. You can see, so just we have attached some weight in the back side of this robotic vehicle so that it can take right turn and left turn easily. Thank you.